when you look at this, we were hesitant to say that Minnesota was one of those teams that we felt that at 7-1, and one, the Minnesota Vikings were actual contenders. And then what happened? Even though they were down 27-10, to 10, they come back in the second half of Buffalo, and we felt forced to. And we just found reasons, you know? Well, they're winning close games, and they weren't winning close games before. And Kirk Cousins now is a guy that we can depend on because we saw him do it in Buffalo. And also, look at what Justin Jefferson does. Even if he's double covered, and we saw all that, but still now we watch this. You get drummed by the Minis- by, Min- by, by the Dallas steal. Cowboys. You're drummed by the Philadelphia Eagles. Two teams with elite corners that understand how to rush the passer. They have to figure out this week what they're going to do against the New England Patriots. This is the most important game of the season for Kirk Cousins, for this Minnesota yes, offense, is. and for this team as a whole. If they do not win, they are in trouble. And Dan's going to be like, well, you oh. know, if they focus on it the right way, then I believe that Kirk Cousins has done everything he needs to do yeah, to ascend to the next deal. tier. They, well, we're going to figure out this week deal, against, the Bill, actually, against Bill Belichick in New England. I'm actually okay. not worried about the Vikings. I don't really I'm sound actually like not worried about that. That is you, Dan. <laughs> did, is dr- did you say drunk? Drum. 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 Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Drum. We're going to do Drum. the rest of the show in that voice, just like it's Dan Orlovsky. Uh, Dan, <laughs> let's get into Mac Jones here in the Pats offense.